So this is the um, uh, latest attempt at an Adams motor. Uh, just works as a motor at the moment. There's no free energy or anything like that. It's just to get a configuration that works. Decided to give it another try because um, um, having looked around on the internet and looked at what other people were doing, I realised that a lot, of, a lot of people have got a lot more success out of this than I have in the attempts I've made in the past. So. But this one just uses CD sized discs and it's got a uh, the size block sticks to, to do the switching. The duty cycle on this is quite high but it's only delivering 12 watts per pulse um, to derive it. And it just, um, it's in uh, repulse mode and it's using near demand magnets. Let's uh, give you an idea. sandwiching um, magnets like this in a curve in order to, to follow the shape of the disc and they stick the stack of five, stack of four, stack of three, stack of two, one and it's sitting behind there like that and it's just keeping the rotor from um, in motion in between pulses it's, um, it's probably not necessary when it's spinning fast, but when it's spinning slow, it, what it does is it keeps the, the rotor and register with the stator, which is here. The stator is a, a solenoid, a hobby solenoid that I got from Dick Smith years ago. But there's a drawing of the disc, it's a one-to-one um, -one scale. These are 10 millimeter the dark circles here are the 10 millimeter rotors, uh, 10 millimeter magnets, four of them, standard Robert Adams style, um, and that's a diagram just to indicate the position of the of those stack magnets, although the configuration is different to what you see here. Okay. I had this motor running with this rotor, but it was really bad because it's it's just too flexible and it, you see it bends too easily. So I had to stack. I think I've got four of these stacked together and glued together with glued, glued together with um, super glue in order to. Either they, they went milky with the that white you see is the milkiness from the super glue. Alright. Not really boring. Not enough to see. Okay, so we got 12 ohms on the stator, single stator. Now we got 12 volts from this gel cell. That's that's the thing I got that from Master Trade. You can see that. It's um, Battery VCP 1200 12 12 volts 1.2 ampere. But since I started it, which is about 10 15 minutes ago, so. but anyway, it's um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's actually you can just see a spark. I might, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I was gonna try and make it back, but we're actually using sunlight at the moment. Alright, so that's a, a star shaped disc. Um, if you can imagine, it's just a cross 
and the parallel sides. And then another one. Oh, it's going to stop there. I'll just use one of these, and then, well, I use the back of it. That's what you can see there, the back of it. And then I use a green shim to go in between the cross, and then I use brass shim, kindly, kindly donated by Hulk Engineering, in order to make the cross. Right. There you go. And Adam's made it at kind of runs. And I think special at the moment. Not really trying to get anything special yet. So, that's that. 